Hello, viewers. This is Liberty. This is Liberty Online TV powered by Orange Sierra Leone. Orange. I deserve the best. Leave that X to the next. Hi guys, it's Boy here, aka Miss Kelly Talat. <laughs> and our fellow now, all know say you suppose a need for check out Liberty TV online on every platform if you want to forget the best form of entertainment in your life. So make sure you check them out. What's good guys? I'm Peter AA Comba. Watch, make we left for the greedy. And let we left for the greedy because our we're going to check out. Um, Liberty Online TV and on all social media platforms and if you want to get the best entertainment watch out for them and always check them out. Hey guys, this is you go, I'm Inesh. I did follow Liberty Online TV and I want you self to follow Liberty Online TV now Facebook, now YouTube and all other social media platforms. My name is Lida Howard Tombo, Team Bikenda Mama and the winner of House of Star Reality TV Show Season 1. I am right at Liberty TV. And I'm encouraging every Sierra Leoneans and every other nationality to always watch the Liberty TV. It's an online TV. I'm encouraging you also to follow their page on Facebook, YouTube, um, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and then you can get the best out of Liberty TV. Hey guys, what's up? This is Incredible JJ, Mr. Hodos J. Shout out to Liberty Online TV. Follow them on all social media platforms. Adores it. This is Liberty Online TV powered by Orange Sierra Leone. Orange. Good morning and welcome to another edition of the Breakfast Show where they come to you live from Liberty Online Television, now Facebook, YouTube, and also now we website where they powered by Orange Sierra Leone. We ready to bring the program come to you this morning. My name is Kadija Bangura. And me na Al Hassan Kuma. Good morning. Today is April 3rd, 2024, and inside this edition of the Breakfast Show, we we'll look at price control and a special focus on the increase in price for bag of rice. And save the agreement where the Ministry of Trade don't get with the importers and for look at the price for 50 kg bag rice. Well, for Ka we talk about this. Now, the studio this morning, we get Emmanuel Billy Conjo, and the director of trade and save the professional head from the Ministry of Trade. This morning, we deal with the studio for Ka we look at this particular topic price control and the bag rest where the price don't go up, and waiting the Ministry of Trade don't get an agreement with the Importers Association. How this go up for cushioning the price? increase now the ordinary citizen there and all of this you go know inside the program this morning well this morning i want to welcome emmanuel billy conjo we come out from the ministry of trade in at the professional head the ministry good morning mr conjo and welcome to the breakfast show good morning and pleasure always for the liberty tv all right, and Seth, who they expect in the studio this morning, Sheriff Barry, we are the Deputy National Secretary General for the Salon Importers Association. Instead, they join me in the studio this morning for can look at this particular topic, who they can discuss inside the program this morning. You say for the watch we now for add your voice, send we concern, you comment now the comment section at any of the platform them who they watch we this morning, or you can as well send we a text message now the number 074 200 545 074 two hundred five four five now the number that the way you for call for ensure say you safe add your voice to the program this morning. <laughs> 
All right, continue for watch. This is Liberty Television, as we always therefore bring you the very best of information now the program. We will take you to the very first item inside the program this morning. The Vice President, Dr. Julde, Mohamed Julde Jalo, don't say um, for address the Kush issue now the country, the government don't set aside special magistrate judge them. We go to look at the drug case them now the high court. Mohamed Julde Jalo talked this inside the town hall meeting where the Minister of Information and Civic Education with the members of the public will talk about this particular issue. Well, Mohamed Kama gets more and will now report. As the Kush epidemic now the country still a concern to plenty people because of the kind way and manner how this done the kill plenty young people them now the country make the Ministry of Information and Civic Education don't hold one day town hall meeting with different stakeholder them and member of the public for can talk about some of the positive solution them for address this Kush business that the country inside this town hall meeting. The Minister of Health, Dr. Austin Demby, will talk about some of the substance them we can use for make Kush. We make the one them we can take them, can die and pull so foods. The pharmacy board, they go collect sample them of this Kush we can sell around. They analyze their sample. Then sample them, you not only get that synthetic potent and drug inside it, then they mix up all kinds of other dangerous tablet them and pills them and medicine them and country. Medicine for um, people that like are able to talk, medicine for heart disease, medicine for the lung medicine, where you can buy in a pharmacy for other sickness. Then they take all the mix up inside this potent, potent drug. Yeah. The end result of this now, when you take this medicine, it did damage all the different organs. The security sector, now one big sector, we get great role for play by these feds. Inside Ion Top, the Inspector General of Police, William Fayaselu, we talk about some of the arrests them where they don't make. We will not step up the operations. As the Minister might have said, we realize say, a lot of stuff that happened around. I also said, no, let us do something about it. We don't do something. We are going to invite the Minister to As I talk to, they don't search one floor to fix. We then put 99 packets of brown flash powder. The boss who is in this country, I want to come out with from Holland. The seven people who went over the receiver, they did our post they could look at them. They were the day, and one for Georgia, they know to go to the We are going to look at them, seriously. And again, the vice president impressed upon we as police and us the justice system that anybody who they catch for and push business, you know they get there in the police, you know they get there in the court. As I talk so, without hesitation, I have to say, today, three policemen have been put up for push. They have been put for the past one week. One prison officer at Moloko will catch up with the traffic they push inside the correction center. They will get one military man inside in our top for who got for the same push. So that tells you, in this fight against push, there is no secret power. We in the talk on behalf of government, the Vice President, Honorable Mohamed Jule Jalo, be talk about the measures where government don't put in place for fights against Kush and the country. As chairman of the police council, I've been longing instructions say anybody, anybody with the old man Kush business, you need to get bail. I'd like to get 150 lawyers, you need to get bail. I'd like to bring all the lawyers there, you need to get bail. I'd like to bring you my activism, you need to get bail. The different different stakeholder them when we take part in this town hall meeting. Be pledged for giving support to government for fight against Kush come out in the country for Liberty Online TV. Mohamed Kamara, the reports. All right, we continue with the breakfast show. They come to you live from Liberty Online Television. Earlier, I'll tell you what I said today that the program where they look at the price for 50 kilogram rest, almost than the seller now. And if people can remember March 27 this year, one press release will come out from the Ministry of Trade and Industry. Then say after 
plenty consultation where they don't get with the rice importer them over the increase in price of rice. The importer they don't agree for sale to the general public 50 kg bag per boil rice for 840,000 lions. That's now a press release we come out from the Ministry of Trade and Industry and then police press release March 27 this year after several consultation according to within and put the press release they don't get an agreement with the rest importer them for begin sell 50 kg per boil rest for 840,000. Well waiting and waiting we don't have a um, conversation there so with the Ministry of Trade say they don't get to the rest importer them and waiting at the rest importer them position. This morning one for welcome Sherry Barry in a deputy secretary general for the Sierra Leone Rice Importers Association. Good morning, Mr. Barry, and welcome to the Liberty Breakfast Show. Good morning, and I say Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh to viewers. All right, before we come to the Sierra Leone Rise Importers Association, we will start with the Ministry of Trade because now they pull a press release to say they inform the general public say that a whole series of conversation with the Sierra Leone Rise Importers Association and they don't agree for sale 50 kg per boil rest for 840,000. Also, then conversation they are begin and waiting to be the different issues that will come up where they may they get then series of conversation there so with the importers them. All of that we will get now the story studio this morning and earlier I'll be introduced to now Emmanuel Billy Conjo, we na the director of trade and self the professional head we come out from the Ministry of Trade and Industry. Good morning once more, Mr. Conjo, and welcome again to the Liberty Breakfast Show. Thank you very much. Always a pleasure for yeah, you. Yeah, All right. So let me start for give the reviewers them an overview. So Usai then conversation they also start. So they will reach to an agreement with the importer then see the floor price owner don't give them for letting they sell 150 kg of parboiled rice now 840,000 years. Just give viewers them an overview of who side the conversation they begin. Okay. Well, thank you very much again. Um, viewers, as you know, we were then at the trade sector. We get two critical things the way we they do, we they facilitate and we they regulate. So one of the platforms that we would use for do that, then I would call public-private dialogue. And public-private dialogue, they bring both the private sector and the public sector for discuss on issues. We bother around the general good of everyone. Um, we know, say, since COVID, the world at large, they suffer from what you call food insecurity. Um, COVID been bring disruptions in the global supply chain. And as governments will be initiated to call the quick Economic Quick Action Response Program, QAP, where inside and the Ministry of Trade been get two critical pillars. One of them have been commodity, the essential commodity. So what we as governments don't they do now for ensure say we get availability of all essential commodities inside this country. So at non given time, no day where people end on to line or they don't queue for essential commodities. Yes, the prices of commodities globally, they increase, and they get a knock-on effect also na Sierra Leone, as price then they go up. But like I say, governments not they able for develop, especially if you not work with the private sector. The private sector not the engine for growth and development. So we constantly, as a ministry, they engage with the private sector. So when we realize it globally, the price of rice they go up because inside this year of 2024 Khadija we get more elections than ever before so 80 national elections they go across the the world and most of them they come out not this asian countries and the asian countries then they now they will get most of the rest where they come out so you know with the area you see Pakistan done done the election, India they and they own, they still the count, the election they go on for three months, Thailand, Burma. So when then country then they they in them political position then they and they take a posture of a national tendency not for exports but for keep waiting and get. So because of a demand and supply move, the price go up. So we know say this go affect with people them ordinarily. And in the being blessed as a country where we get um, 
a country with some Muslim and Christian, and they this them we coincide with we Lent and period and we Ramadan, and we talk to we business people and say, hey, it's tight, it's tough for we all. How we go do? What we go do during this period? For let we not make the team more now with people in two months. And we all agreed because we've constantly been having a conversation that for parboiled rice, now there are various variety of rice. The one where we they eat most now parboiled rice. So we agree say for parboiled rice during this period of Ramadan, we would put the price at 850 for wholesale. Now there are other drivers, cost drivers where they increase price, where governments not get control over. One of them are transport. The other one are energy. And then in the boat, we agree, say, wholesale price, na fritong. Wholesale price, I repeat, na fritong, for parboiled rice of 50 kg, will be sold at 840 during the Ramadan period. And then we go review moving forward. Them prices they are so I don't review. Yes. Now just inside this Ramadan month where they are about for end. Yes, so the price we will review now during the period of Ramadan. Because we all agree, say, this is not the period where we show largesse. Because of we poly, um, religious, because of we traditional, because of we, we belief system. We believe, say, we keep able to reach out to we people. I love not forget that some of them use this as a point for, as one of their young pillars inside Islam. They say, okay, well, now this we they do. And we don't thought of giving back to the community. Government is not a fixed price. Now the market forces the demand, they determine price. All we can do is we can intervene, either through subsidy if we get for reduced money for reduce the price, or like when we get engagement, like I explained so, to a public private dialogue and, and talk. Say yes, we all agree. Now yeah, we all day. So during this period, for every people they're all able for practice their rights, able for do it and able for do. We'll pray the blessing kind of for everybody in the salon. And we agreed to that. You don't feel say the press release coming very late because um, looking at the press release and the agreement we're make with the importers um, is uh, midway inside the Ramadan. So how you look at that is that a uh, way of helping the people because somebody with the watch you know, don't say when I don't able to make the agreement before the Ramadan during the very first week of the Ramadan. Right? It, is, the it is better late than never. It's never too late to plant a tree. You plant tick today, you go say yes, you plant and today. But in twenty years that tick they go bear you fruit where so you go forget who stay being planter because you go enjoy the fruit. Waiting we able for show to the general public is that the private sector and the public sector can come together that we can agree for work that in particular times we can show understanding and that is what this is demonstrating. It shows a confidence there in the system and that we do work together. Mr. Konjo, what do you go say to somebody where go see issues of consistency there inside this particular price agreement? Mm -hmm. Because if we pull a press release on the 27th mm -hmm. of March informing the general public say mm -hmm. that this one I don't agree on mm -hmm. and now you say that just for the Ramadan period yeah. If um, I get them right, by mm -hmm. Monday or Tuesday next week, Muslim then go pray and the Ramadan go down, reality will be sinking, people will go back to the old prices. It is also possible that by that end they will come back say there has been a review. Again, government in posture, government in position, have to engage with the private sector, with the talk with them. This man in money, not to make gear, not to government gear. So man taking loan, he do in business. So we explain to them and we all see. And I would let you know that even some of this conversation initiated from the private sectors, major of we play at them. So now that we get into the feed salon with another conversation, most of we importers them of rice are involved. We now have a policy who we only work together. So not to for sell rest no more, but also for plant rest for see what we go do. But the good news from them is that the public sector and the private sector can come together. We can get an understanding and we can show say we need for do something.
All right, so we can now to Mr. Bali, where they are for represent the Salon Importers Association. Don't listen to the professional aid from the Ministry of Trade. From one iron angle, we're going to get a series of engagement to them, negotiation, so they on agree for this particular prize where the Ministry of Trade don't inform the public, say, now 840,000 on a for sale per boil rice, and I just the period of this Ramadan. Take with you as then through the conversation, we will not only get to the ministry. Um, thank you so much, uh, Mr. Konjo, for your explicit explanation. But let me make this thing very clear. At Kanaya in the Keeper City, as an uh, importer's association, uh, the invitation with the ministry being gi now for Sierra Leone and uh, importers of rice. Initially, Neno lays with the association, with the importers association. So after they get the conversation with the rice importers, the right rice importers demand very, very important, say, Therefore, come to the parent body, we are the importers association, and can cry to we see the compensation we then get. It is not sustainable. It is not healthy. It is not good for business, and it is not good for Sierra Leone as a whole. My brother, when it go through, he highlight a lot of problems. It starts with the corona effect on rice. Before the stretch, about 80 countries we they conduct and the elections currently, and that gets an adverse effect on rice. Indeed, with all these things, the ministry no per se government no say yes. There is a hit on corona. There's a hit on elections, and then self come at now the five percent again. As a government, they don't know already the obstacles where they confront business people, more especially in the arena of rice importation. It is not timely for them at this crucial moment where we they just come up from Corona elections. Then the over eighty countries and uh, the importers or exporters of rice don't reduce for lay then come lay five percent on the importation of rice so as a business people me we not demand necessarily say now because of fast month this conversation for start about bringing down the price yes it is good it is a holy month but there are other equally holy months in our calendar. Christmas, they come. If we say when Christmas comes, we get another conversation. Then stability no good day in prices. As I talk so, this don't get an, a ripping effect all over the country. You know, say Freetown, Naya, the whole sales day, when people come in, say, talk down day in terms of prices. And when you go to the provinces, you see say, the prices of rice don't go up. And one thing we very important, what we need for ask ourselves, why prices they go up every day? One, this foreign exchange, it really the bite Sierra Leonean business people. Once you not get a Table foreign exchange price are team or bound to increase every day. Who say importers they the source then foreign exchange is through the black market and dollar not stable. This are some of the ripping effect we get on rice. If you go through the net, you see a metric ton of rice because. Outrightly measuring, you get different varieties. You get the jasmine, you get the parboil, you get the basmine, 
Boma, etc., etc. And uh, each of them metric tons is de determined by the quality of the rice we you the import. So for put it short, one, the stability of we foreign exchange. Once that's not stable, the conversation will be very healthy. And second, these five percent with the level on the importation of rice get an effect. Ordinarily, when Sierra Leone and Yeri say we don't add task tax on a commodity, that gets a negative impact. Everybody will shoot up in price, and so prices they go up and up. Yeah, it is good. As with a plan for low, we plan to eat. It's very important, but it is the time. You know, timely at this crucial moment. Coming just from coronavirus, 80 countries all over the world conducting elections, the exportation, of rice don't reduce. So in essence, the rice importers now they meet we as an association, a parent body say, oh, this arrangement when government go tell you or by extension the Minister of Trade, we are not happy. And if this continues so, we not get any option but now for reduce the importation of rice that the country. And you know, when importation of rises reduce, it get a negative effect. Some of now go day around, or some of now not day around. In 1985, by 1986, we begin serious shortage of rice in this country as a result of the so-called price control, because the importers by then they self just laid the tools down. So if you go do your research now today and you see the metric ton of rice OT cost, you multiply that by we foreign exchange, then you will really see it's very hard for the business people. Yeah, Mr. Bag, if I can extract from what you talk, um, was it like the importers have not been agree with the Ministry of Trade? Because according to TC, then we'll meet on her and explain when I say, if this continue, it will affect them seriously. You are correct. This is exactly what happened. Because we, the parent body, we, we are not involved. We, we are not consulted. We, we are not invited. So, meaning there was, so they meaning invite there was, only the there rice was importers. No are, so, after the conversation, the rice importers then come to the parent body and say, no, we not agree with this thing. But they not agree. The Ministry of Trade pull a press release who said they inform the general public say they don't get an agreement with the um, Rice Importers Association for letting them begin sell per boil rice 840,000. If you say they don't agree, this price with the Ministry of Trade pull, you know, effective na the market. Well, when you go to the market, what in the on paper and what in the on the ground, now two different things. So that clearly should say. They don't agree. If they agree, the prices will be the same, 840. So if you go out there, you see 850, you see 900, it shows. Glaringly, see, they don't accept to what the, the conversation be called for. All right, Mr. Bagila, bring in Mr. Conjo. Clearly, waiting under the Ministry of Trade put to the general public say when I don't get an agreement with the Rise Importers Association for letting them begin sell less 840,000 the per boil rise. Not to that then at the market according to Mr. Barry. Why the ministry go pull a press release tell the general public say that this price on for buy less then when I don't get an agreement with the importers then. So you they make an assumption and a speculation. And I trust the Liberty TV is a credible, reliable, and trusted channel of communication. I know they, government, I know they you, government, Mr. Conjo, I know they government, ask you. You asked me a question, Madam. No, Can I, I need it? for clear the. Um, I don't know if not allegation I foresee. Liberty very credible. And we dare for give viewers them factual information. Now me and you sit down at the studio. When Mr. Barry make a submission, now according to what he say, 
I take the cue for asking the question. So, so that is why I'm stating again for the records that because as a government and as a ministry and particularly as a person, I trust the credibility of Liberty Online TV. That's why I'm here this morning. Okay, thank you. And I have stated that as a government, as a channel that we put our press releases, from the Ministry of Trade through to the Ministry of Information, we put them out. And I explained that several consultations with the major rice importers, all right? So government is certain now, what you now can do for help we is to fact check. You now can go back to the depots of all the major suppliers, whether it is CTC, whether it is SAD, whether it is BSB, whether it is Ibrahim Moshen, you now check. And I also want to let the public know say we have a rice stock that lasts we until the end of September. We get enough rice. I know what I, we consume on a daily basis, what we consume on a weekly basis, what we consume on a monthly basis. Currently, what we have in stock, all right, is rice that will last us till September. So we're not getting no issues with availability. Number two, government has consistently supported our major importers. That's why I explained during COVID, we initiated the Co-op, the Quick Economic Response Program. Over three different occasions, government puts out a facility of $50, $50 million. We'll get to a major supplier there, okay? At a single digit interest rate, for go take. I will tell you that on a weekly basis, government through the central bank makes available foreign exchange to be major importers for reduce the burden. Dija, this is not our work as government, but given the circumstances, it is prudent that you go go to the market, you able for source your foreign exchange. But we know the reality, so government steps in. Government takes proactive actions. Now, rest, now we stick with food where we eat. All over the world, where we they talk, let me use all the facts. We consume 300,000 metric tons of rice. Okay? In some midterm, 350,000 metric tons of rice. If you take waiting then at the global price today platform, hmm? you know, most we go to buy one bag rice in this country, 1,500 1, million. Because governments get agreement with certain countries, them. China, India, for example, our suppliers go and have rice at a discounted rate. It is also good for understand waiting then they sell rice in Guinea, waiting then they sell rice in Liberia, against waiting then they sell rice in Salo. So if we're able to do this price comparison, then you can before for no. Yes, I don't hold brief for the Ministry of Finance or NRA. Government said then they reinstitute and bring back 5% levy on rice. Certainly, it affects the price. But the justification that governments give said and they bring them back is that because we need to raise money for able for grow rice. Currently today, at the global market for 25% broken white rice where they eat, it's between 600 and 650 dollars metric tons. Mr. Conjo, the issue where I was in a bone of contention in mm -hmm. this conversation, now the consistency in prices. Waiting on a put on a press release, mm -hmm. according to Mr. Barry, where they retweet that the studio now, not to in then they sell. So again, I they ask Liberty Online TV, okay? You have your reporters go back to the major importers and find out from their depots. If at a wholesale price, I'm not talking about retail price. If I buy one, I buy 840 today, I want to go Godrich. Do you know how much then they charge you for bag? Transport? 10,000. Who do you, you so, classify as the major importers? So the major importers, now the one the way they bring rest camp, where they bring us a big ship, okay? Not then, necessarily on importers. No, 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 no. So all the people that are within a salon, mm. whether they are some of them are Sierra Leone and nationals, some of them are non-Sierra Leone and nationals, 
then they do business now. They have import license to bring in rice. Okay? The major one there. This is not the big one. I know you talk possibly they bring rice now two, <laughs> two containers. I talk about person where they bring large metric tons. So now they own a consult. Now they own a negotiation. These are the people that we've been dealing with. These are the major rice importers. That's what your data will show you. This is what your information will speak to. So who said the Sierra Leone Importers Association? Who you put there? The Sierra Leone Importers Association, they deal with rice, they deal with cement, they deal with anybody where they bring goods come inside. So we, we are not talking to everybody. We are talking to a specific group of people where they bring a specific product. So if we want to talk to everybody where they import, we'll talk to Sierra Leone Importers. These are the people that are bringing rice. Now then, this is not their own business. But according to Mr. Bayer, he said they're mm. not the parent body. Agreed. After we una don't get this conversation with them people, there, we say we get the conversation. Mm -hmm. Then go back and cry to them say, now this the Ministry of Trade one force we for do, but you know okay with we. I I not been there at the meeting. I don't know, but everybody we been there at the we own meetings not to run was never coerced, was never forced. They, they signed up, they, they discussed, they agreed, and, and there, are, there are documents to the effect. So a credible ministry and government, no go gap no more and say, there are people here who don't say, nah, so, 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 so. We, we, we appeal, we talk, we beg. We, 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 we can't a conclusion. Usa will be one for good and say, no, 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 no. And we agree, man, that they can't do business for loss. If they're making small thing, but instead of agree, say this day I so I go, I go pull small. Let 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 the people they know. That that way they, that's the that's the idea. But after the agreement, mm. we wanna make with them. Wanna be able for do a follow up for see whether um, something happened, whether there is a change, whether on the agreement wanna make them for follow up with that on that eight hundred and forty. That is our yes. job. We do it every day. That is what we do. That is my work. That is what we do. We monitor the marketplace on a daily basis. So I will tell you, almost person who that gets almost bad grass or almost metric turn, who sign store day, wait till do day, those information if Liberty Online TV wants that, we can make them available. That's no problem at all. Mr. Barry make a statement saying if this trend continue, we might go back to the days then. We rise being shocked in the country. No, 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 no. Again, I make I don't I don't assure you now. Currently in stock, wait till we get Nasalon. Not to wait ship the bring cam. Last will last us for September. Alright? Again, since nineteen eighty five that he mentioned this is two thousand and twenty four. We economic systems that don't change. The way the world the business has changed completely. Now, we know the fixed price. Again, the press release say after several consultations and engagements, now talk with the talk. Anybody will attempt for Duam. Let me give you an example of what happened in 2020 in Liberia. The government in Liberia yeah. attempted to do price control. For, there are only four major suppliers of rice globally. For let you able to put one order, it takes you about eight, nine to one year. So till you get a yes, you able to buy them. Even when you get money, till they bring and come to you. That's the duration it takes. Not a small business. All right? So it is never our intention or our inclination. We are putting systems in place for see how we they work. Now make we they support the private sector. Every one of them. The next time on, on, on Liberty TV, I will bring one of them to you. Let them self-explain. Let them tell we, let them tell public how governments debt them on a weekly basis. Be any of the importers they are so mm -hmm. look kind of confusing to the viewers them. You they talk about say on the help the importers there, when I get a conversation with them, when I get a series of conversations according yeah. to the press release. Mm -hmm. But let come to Mr. Barry, yeah. where they are, they represent the Sierra Leone Importers Association. Mm -hmm. From the Ministry of State, they own angle. They get a young importers, them, where they bring in large amount of rest. That's true. When then, then they engage with. So in all of this, who's on our standards <laughs> and association? Uh, thank you so much and uh, <clears throat> for this and, and uh, question. 
And from the explanation, we the see say there's a bit of confusion because the press release they talk about the wholesale price of 840. Then we ask ourselves, who are the wholesalers? Because if you go now on Abacha Street, you see you want five backgrounds rice or ten self, you don't get up for it for two. You can't. The people then at the shop and the consumer, the price is different. The one day way to go buy, let me say, 10 trucks, 15 trucks of rice, definitely they will get a discount. I don't know whether the ministry not that then try for make an arrangement for the top businessman the way they go buy trailers, 50 trailers or 10 or 5. But for the one day we get the shop, I'm telling you, that price is 40. You know, stand. So there's a bit of confusion. If I, Mr. let me start conjure, conjure, they, explain. They say they the monitor from the ministry, then get the data and this price or they agree with the people the way that then are the importers the way who are not the part of and the 840 then they said so who is fooling who here then mr conjo need for explain give it proper because now when you the the consumer then go for go buy they create a lot of and they're facing a lot of challenges a lot of brouhaha because they don't see this statement come on from the ministry that 840 for wholesale. So now the ministry they they want, confusion. <laughs> indeed. Me <laughs> want now 12 bags of rice or 20 bags of rice. You don't get them from that price. So let me start conjure explain Gui if the 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 press release they talk about them bigger investors where they go buy trailers of rice from the importers but we'll get that clarification for explain earlier then do this because this are the holy month of ramadan and then no say the poor people them need some of them things there so which means say now for the ordinary people then it is not right touching there. the poor people it is not touching the poor people are not feeling it the poor people not see semblance of that it for waiting are your evidence mr Barry? the evidence is clear go to the market you see, Mr. Kondo, don't challenge me. Mr. Kondo, Mr. Kondo, no, so already let me, tell let me, me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me explain. In let, let, me, ex let, me, let me explain. Mr. Kondo, just a minute. From Mr. Kondo's explanation, mm -hmm. it don't make we don't understand. In the talk about the wholesales, and at the same time, see, it won't touch the lives of Muslims. But that touching the lives of Muslims, you know. Uh, available or in you know, no replica to the poor ordinary poor people. Mr. So Barry, to, yeah. uh, Mr. Can't just stick to the fact say the Pabuel race that's eight hundred and forty. Why you the claim say if you come to the market, you know they are that price. So to your own opinion, waiting at the the price for that particular race as of now will be tough. Nine hundred. Nine hundred. Yeah. Okay. So so if you not, if you not allow me, let la, la teach now. <laughs> so, so I, want, I want a little bit of teaching. Okay, go ahead. So how the rice business works. You get cons with them where now the major exports produce. China, India, Thailand, Pakistan, Burma. And they plant rest for sale. Like China, you they go, then get we, we get agreement with them. We can't see like Sierra Leone, you get quota where they buy. Other country then get quota. You can't buy past that quota day. Now, then then get four major players then at the world. We with the Chinese example and get the one company when a state owned company when a two day you go buy. Then get the young supplier then. We people then I am. They go and then the status country then come out for them. 
And because of that quantum dividend and common lex alone, we can agreement we'll get, then pricing structure is different. You understand? So when, example, CTC or SAD bring rest, hmm, these guys are the major wholesale people and are the supplier they want they hmm? And the supplier them. Then they bring rest and ship. Hmm? So then they bring a container. Example. Then they get what you call dealers them. Okay? Dealers they will scatter all across the country. Where they tell you, say, now then one and day, then they go take them for um, big people them 15,000 bag, 20,000 bag, then at the dealer. Hmm? Then anybody will take from the dealer and at the retailer. We go put in at the shop, we then me back go buy for my na the shop and all. I can go to a dealer and buy. I can decide say I know go outside the dealer and outlet there, I go buy in another shop. That rest we land in here. Hmm? We then they sell. Now in government negotiates. Where you don't pull on a water key. Hmm? It then at the store. Where the rest can I is sabi, you know. We call on CIF. You get all the other charges, the way they, charges the way they pay. Hmm? The ones if we go buy and so 840. If you get for Kango and shop, they pay transport. If they pay to Tman, if they pay for in shop, it gets in mark up where they put there. We as government need to touch that one day, not to that way they talk about. That rest we come within our water key, we don't come on a door, within our store. A major store. How would they say? Hmm? All right. When we do a pricing formula, it will be costing eight ninety. We say, Mr. Hold, 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 I just done, ma'am. Please, sorry. We say, do ya? Let we keep them at eight forty for now. All right. If person go buy them, if it was sold at eight ninety, person pay ten thousand transport. He go put an in shop, he put other 15,000. You know, just the add number, what you go count. But we negotiated, we discussed it. Do you have? We know, say yes, we bring and count all things like this, that. But we don't look at the, as a variance. Can we bring it this way? And that we agree on. So this not to the retailer where they go again shopping at Godrich Street or again shopping where they talk about. No, 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 no. So, how this so I explain how this the whole, whole the life of the I, people down Yes, it they touch the lives of the people because. If at the prescribed price, we example it be for B890, then you add all the other things there. The price will be possible before they pay for the bag of rice right now should have been way more than what they pay for her. But you know they reflect. So you are aware of the rest than 900,000. So, who's I? Because the, who's one? the ordinary who's... people, the mm -hmm. way it's supposed for reflect on, you know, they reflect on them. Now, just people, um, according to um, what Mr. Barry say, when they go by then 20, 30 trucks, now then it they reflect on exactly. And then, say, when they go with and then shops them, who say the ordinary Sierra Leone and you go for go by that single bag, the price also 840. No, so, so, again, again, I don't explain who, who say the price then at 840. You cannot sell rice. He's a businessman. Let it talk on. What then I You go buy 840. Hmm? You took and care and go na 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 <laughs> You sell at 840. Does it work? But it well, it doesn't <laughs> work. Mi, mi, Mr. Conway, <laughs> the press <laughs> release on a pool, it did they send up for wholesale. Then. Wholesale. But the ordinary people when are the ordinary Sierra Leone and the concerned Sierra Leone and them get issues say you know reflect on them. So so again again DJ and online TV viewers if the price today was sold at nine hundred and then you put all the other additional costs who's how we be for day that is the scenario you should be seeing. Well this same so scenario, now the scenario they now would they say we talk to we people then we get an understanding that we are moving backwards. Rather than we be for day at that price of 890, we come to 840. So elect person and go put all the other mark up there. In order to reach the sideway even for day. So who said before day according to our projection? 
so if today, I don't pass nine, no, so no, no, hold on. So today, <laughs> like we, did, we are doing the math. My brother is here. Today, <laughs> today the global price is $650 for one metric tons. One metric tons na 20 bags. Yeah, inside 20 bags. Yeah. So if you do that metric tons day, just check out no more. Then you use the dollar exchange rate. You will tell your most the bag will be. So sometimes Inco just help. I just give the breakdown. We simply, I'm telling you, with all authority, we will be over at 1,000 plus for bag. So who's difference where you think, say, this make? For the Ramadan. Yeah, for the Ramadan. Who's <laughs> difference we make? Nobody know they buy less over 1,000. <laughs> Nobody. Am I am I saying the truth? Yeah, correct. That's the, that's so that's meaning the, that's, meaning the, that's that's the, the reality. You, you they talk about the different type of rice. We need about one thousand. We we consume the one we can we call twenty five percent broken white rice. We need the palm oil. Palm oil. Now we eat more. Now we talk about. Now there are various categories of Khadija that eat jasmine. <laughs> no, that's not the brand. It, 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 it eats basmati. It eats it scented it. rice. Mm. So that's not the high end. Okay, okay. You eat wala rice. Okay, so not the high end because even wala rice they are past all the rest yeah. So not the high end. You understand? Okay, not the high end for the high consumer. What to that with the top? We the bobo jama. We we boku. We got in picking them. Hmm? And the twenty five percent broken per boil. Now in the swell. Who will cook rest now? And the one with the swell. Now we want. Now they buy Boku. So now we will bring come Boku. So 80% of importation order nine go day day. Now that one they will talk about. So that's what you use as your base price. Okay? So today with waiting, I tell you now, if we use the global price against the dollar, waiting with day, my brother will tell you, it's just check and just not to so sad. You are correct. We are over a thousand plus. Back. Yeah. Mr. Bai, what's <laughs> the reality on ground? The reality on ground, if me not being advisor to the Minister of Trade, there are certain issues where you will negotiate indoor, we you know come outdoor. Therefore, them negotiate with the importers behind closed doors, get whatever arrangement they get and uh, when we come out there now when you come out there the business people the way they will buy in wholesales uh, they will just meet say prices don't go down through their wholesales so that they for don't be be the best idea but this press release we come out honestly with all amount of truth, it don't create some confusion in the minds of the consumers. Because even forget a bracket, what's the, the target for wholesales? Where is the demarcation? Now where I go buy 10 bucks now in a wholesales, I don't buy purchase wholesales, or when I go buy 50 bucks, or when I go buy 12 bucks. Salon, we don't get that day at all. The Ministry of Trade, I don't ever, I don't say that they over and over. We need to make a bracket between retailers, wholesalers, importers. Because these three segments all, one green possible one. You see the importer of the same rice. Now in the retailer of the same one. So it creates a problem, not the market. If that line of communication be there, you're an importer. Now this you for sell to the major uh, wholesalers. These wholesalers, you say now this you for sell to the retailers. So a very simple for you, the consumer now, for get a unified price. But this is so cumbersome that even you as a businessman, you don't go understand. So, Putting at the target of a whole a wholesaler, is it 12 bucks of rice? Is it 10 bucks of rice? Is it a truck of uh, 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 rice? So, what's so the reality on the ground, Mr. Barry? Yeah. So, what's not the big challenge you know, get as importers in the country? What's not the biggest challenge you know, get? The biggest challenge for an exchange, 
is the biggest target. Because when you exchange rate not stable, you will not go no save the amount of profit we will able to make. It will make you as the businessman, you torment and fed up for do business. Because business is about projection. I can for no say if within this one year if I do business, now this amount of profit I get. So the foreign exchange one of the biggest problems for all importers in this country. The taxes is an other one. No, we know, like how Mr. Kodja said, we just come up from Corona. Yes, we need taxes. Government need that day for help in return the people. But if you make them too much, you are killing the business. And when you kill the business, they don't move away from your country. And whereby you will get more and more unemployed Sierra Leoneans. This is one of the biggest second challenge we will get as importers or as business people in this country. So you the try to see the tax for for importers that the country the plenty to not importers. To me to at you. this at, at this moment, not to now this five percent for don't come. Not to now the five percent for don't come. We for don't start for grow with rice. We don't start for harvest with rice. We don't see another market. Then you begin level taxes. But now, then if we don't brush the farm they hit for this rest, we know it will allocate the site then for this rest who the plant, the tax don't start for bite. And this five percent naturally as you add on, you don't increase price. That's about business. If the five percent from the day, the price now ten loans, now you don't add five percent automatically. It will go to 11 leons or 12 leons. It's something natural. So government for don't look other ways and means. Then we start the process of plowing, the process of planting. We get we foresee harvest. Then you begin the increase now. But government need to get that money for implement the feed salon. I know I know dispute that, but it is not timely at this crucial moment. We are just coming from Corona. We are just other countries like China don't reduce involved the exportation of rice. Now India now in the lead now in the world. So all that put together, even if they not go five percent, but start with two percent. As the harvest don't start now, you begin to move five, ten, fifteen as you want it. But at one go five percent. I the talk as importer, but I talk more as a Sierra Leonean, and I the talk as a consumer. I the feel the pinch of a consumer, I the feel the pinch of ordinary Sierra Leonean workers, because their salary no they move, and if the salary no move, the goods where you know they avoid the rest, they go up every day. It affects your salary. Two percent should have been a better starting start off point, but five percent, whether you like it or not, is going to increase naturally the price of rice. Although you say the price is them way, the Ministry of Trade pulled the press release and put under the eight forty no effective na the market, but Mr. Conjoyas believes say that really effective after the Ramadan. He say then go get another conversation with the importers mm -hmm. then. You say then go cry to owner say the Ministry of Trade tie the and then behind them back. You think that after the Ramadan if the ministry call them back na a table, then go willing for get some conversation with them again. Uh, I think let me make this thing point very clear. Mr Conjo don't tell we see the wholesale price nine na eight forty. He also don't tell we technical see when you go by the 840, you bring and you shops, the prices they go up. So that don't clear the conversation. See, the 840, not for the consumer, is for the big men over there. Okay, now about this Ramadan price, me are totally the against Ramadan price or Christmas price or Easter price or Good Friday price or Independent price. 
no we get a prize we at least it goes stay in this country for one or two or three years than rather getting a ramadan prize well we they wait for the importance uh, the the rice importers they don't go back into the conversation after the the ramadan festive and now the ministry again when i get this thing proper they want to get a channel between importers the importers of rice almost they, they sell ghee the agent then and that agent almost himself will go sell ghee the wholesalers the wholesalers almost himself will go sell ghee the retailer then you go get a stable price than the market bah, the type of rice we want but if that chain of command it broke that chain of command no day we are just talking about in essence in a day reflect on the ordinary zero union within a year today because the market price the 840 the conversation of 840 is not applicable than the market if it be applicable than the market there was no need for lewi kana tv and get a discussion around that 840. so do I, the ministry of trade i don't appeal to now as an importer as a Sierra Leonean, as a consumer when I get this chain of command. If this chain of command not the, in the business, it will affect Sierra Leoneans and it will affect the trade in this country. Right, we will come to Mr. Konjo for let he respond to this appeal where Mr. Barry don't make, he make us rise importer and also a consumer and where he say in a part of the people they feel the pinch of where they're going to market or where they're going to shop for go buy less. The kind of money come on like pocket. We will come to Mr. Conjo shortly for let it go respond. All right, we will look at um, another material inside the program. As this being then the Ministry of Trade and Industry been pulled one press release. We say they don't meet with an agreement with the um, importers them for look at the price for 50 kg bag of rice. Now the country with them for sale at 840,000 leons. Well, this make Liberty Online TV talk to citizens and traders them for know what the makeup of this particular issue now the country. This may make Al Hassan Koma go and talk with traders them and citizens them for know about how things go now the country. Viewers, this is now Liberty Online TV. Well, me now Al Hassan Koma. Of course, within the streets of Freetown, for can sound the voice of people. Regards to the press release will be coming from the Ministry of Trade for sake of the price of rice in the country. But of course, we go to different shop them across the country for able for talk with shop owners them where they sell rice. For like they able for give their own side of the story with regards to whether the rest in price they go up or whether the rest in price they come down based on the press release will come from the Ministry of Trade. But unfortunately, we're not able for get them people are we in a shop dealers them, as most of them are Lebanese them, and they're not grief for talk to we with regards to that. And plenty of the other concerns the way they raise are the fact say we for talk with people them where they import rest now the country, we go for tell we whether that press release they did in place and, or whether the rest in price get for calm down. Well this began for make we able to talk with other people where na citizens them and also people away na petty traders and the different markets them across the country. For let them back able for explain you we waiting at the own side of the story based on the rest in price. As most of them explain about the different different price the way they buy rest, where they make the cup for rest, they go up on a normal basis. And at this some of them begin for say. What is the one let government do one the tariff where they give the people they are whether they export that thing they are for reduce them. Or at least let it be tariff free. Let them put and down, let them forget about the rest side, so let them able to supply people then enough. Then the second thing is, I might be say, even though government they talk about the feeding, where you able to come feed the people there in the country, but it's like time no more permit for now because a rainy season where they can't catch up. I might be expect next season. So when that being that will not reach to that level yet, let them put this thing down until let them begin give their own now. Let me say, like, look at content policy. If you now they implement that, they will be okay with that. But for now, we leave from 
outside country. Now then more will they export from. So if this thing they go up, it they unbox the cities in it. Can so. I get any information about the reduction on the price for what for the bag of rice? Mm, for me, I don't know it. Yes, I don't know it. But we the expect see something like that for happen. Like for Jasmine, we sell and ten million for cup. We buy the bag one million two hundred. Why some area then? And they buy them one million three hundred. And concerning business, how you buy? And so you sell. We get Jasmine and I tell you for cup. We get local feng feng. Before we be sell and four million for cup. As in price they persist, we begin sell and full five. So on side five thousand. Yes. Now, in terms of the business, we will do buying and selling because now at the CC we get what we call inflation. We are the persistence rise in goods and services because at the end of the day, we are the central business area. The way we buy and sell is different from people that the eastern with the western. People that the western, as you say, they price them different with we. Whites, eastern, two, they are the same thing. The guys, this push away. And 900,000 for one bag. The cup don't go 6,000. That other one, now 880,000. The cup now 5,500. Jasmine, now 1 million 200. The cup now 10,000 views. This one, I guess, now 1 million 250,000. The cup now 6,000. Okay. Right now, sell no day. One bag will sell in five days. For that, you don't have trouble. Oh, then I go to this 6,000. Guys, for that, you sell no problem. And I have 5,500 because in the cow. This is sweets. This is a dolly. This is what I sell. At home. And then they sell. One bag, guys, they take four days, five days before you don't. From them, concerns say away uh, people on the race, the petit traders, they are the different markets, eh, and ordinary citizens. Now, I call for concern from the Minister of Trade and the government of Sierra Leone for see that they're able to stabilize the staple food in the country. For Liberty Online TV and Hassan Kouma, the report. All right, in case you just uh, tune in, the program where they watch, and the breakfast show, where they come to you live from Liberty Online Television, or then our Facebook, YouTube, and also on our website. Today, we they look at the price increment, especially on rest, as last week, we see outside the Ministry of Trade being pulled a press release outside and say they don't get series of conversation with the rice importers then, and they don't agree say the wholesale price for parboil rice will be 840000 Well, according to Waiting Liberty Online TV, find out now that this price no reflect na the market. Well, we don't get this conversation at the studio this morning. We we'll get Emmanuel Billy Conjo, we na the professional head. He come from the Ministry of Trade, and also Sheriff Barry, we na Deputy Secretary General for the Sierra Leone Importers Association. When they come back to you, Mr. Conjo, you just don't watch um, a clip of Waiting Liberty Online Television and find out the reality on ground. And also, before we even get that report, there, Mr. Barry will make an appeal to owner the Ministry of Trade. Firstly, let us start for talk about this appeal where Mr. Barry make because in the part of the Sierra Leone Importers Association, we are the Comra body for all the importers. Then, according to Ram, waiting on the talk na table, not they reflect on ground. Um, you see, the Importers Association, a trade support institution. We have. I think and I know, I believe, we have a very fantastic relationship with them. We've supported them, we continue to promote them, we continue to help them. Firstly, as a government and as a ministry, if we not be recognize them, we will not go, we will not sit over there and talk with them. But we recognize them and we give them that recognition there. Secondly, myself um, a consumer, like we all with in I am, yeah. including His Excellency the President. That is why in 2020 we put together what we call the Consumer Protection Commission Act, where for address issues of consumerism, Naya, the rights and the promotion of consumers. The third thing where I want to state is that where I mentioned in the intro that we talk to we people them during the period of Ramadan, I say we they use what we call public private dialogue because we know the importance of the private sector. It's not that we are running a promotion, a Ramadan promotion for Le Price Candle or Christmas promotion. No, 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 no. What we do is to engage. 
for CC, this engagement here, it can work or it not go work. It go barefoot or it not barefoot. For we, we know see the engagement barefoot. Yes, I have also explained that there are various players in the value chain. I say we meet with the importers of rice. We talk to them and we agree that we go sell at 8.40. And I, we did a small maths now. It's waiting at the current price, $650. If you divide them by for one metric ton, you divide them by 20 bags, you times them by the exchange rates today, the rest for cost you over 1,000 new leons. But still, we say now 840 with the seller. Definitely, what we need for, for do as a ministry and as a government, maybe bother they don't talk about the feeds alongside, agriculture go talk bottom. We now the Ministry of Trade and Industry continue for open the space for let more people participate. You understand, um, DJ? If you get more people, it's an issue of supply and demand. More supply, then I get option for go left, right, center, and get what you want. But if you are constricted, you have few players, few numbers of people, there is a tendency for let the market forces play, we go affect the price. Me bought an Ayana importer, but you also get shop. Because when you import, you know the purchasing power of the people in this country, how you get for structure your business. The appeal, they in place. We continue for work with them. There is nothing we do now the ministry will not the work with them. So we don't call cement people them. Say, hey, we don't realize, say, now so the price don't they go. Because one of the things, my day starts at 3 a.m. in the morning. Because the world works for 24 hours. I get for understand what in the happen now we major market to them. We try now they close, I get for no. The price, the way they happen, I they go up, we get for plan. If we not plan, we go fend ourselves in difficult situations. So we thank God that now what we are able to do is availability of the commodity. I am saying it and publicly. If we watch the trends where they happen, Red Sea, we get problem there. Now, the delivery time has increased by 10 days. The ship, then they pass here and again, when I'll be the shorter time, not to so many brother. Yeah, true. Yeah, correct. Now, then they pass right around. So, freight cost has increased by 40%. 40%. For that one ship come out China for each year, they take between two to three months. And now they do the, the work are done long because of the route where then they use. It get cost implication. So for we are small country then we get we own challenge. The critical thing to do is to ensure that there is availability of this, the essential commodities. Then nobody not to line for us. I know they talk for NRA, but when was the last time government put duty on us? How many years the duty has been zero? So tell me brother can help me. But again, with even where we not put duty on rest, we see rest the God. So other person had their own their own explanation. So there you so uh, there is a play around all of this. But we listen as government to the public. We don't listen to the Vox Pop we in I don't do. Then why are we go take and go back? We have our trade monitors, we have our consumer officers on the ground, we go go back and see. So any side where we plug, but the good news and the takeaway where I want to let people in, then get is that the private sector is willing to sit down. Khadija, if now first thing we'll do this, look me brother, I go tell you, man me for the lock shop and stuff. Not to sue, sir. Not true. So now get a consensus. Yes. Mr. Bali, you agree yeah, that, and get a consensus? <laughs> you know they tell, look, DJ, we've been here, we then say we they introduce machine Tax machine, look up. Eh? The CG, mm -hmm. the lock shop, then this, that. But today, no shop, no lock. All man, they go around, all man, they do them business. It's because there is an understanding. No shop, no lock, when it is said. Well, no, 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 no,
store. Then we it's views photo. No, no. Now wait till you see. Wait till I see. Now you are the, are the explain. No, wait till you see. Wait. We report and make a class. Then it's views now, wait, photo. Now, yeah. now, now wait till I wait till I see at the talk. Okay, wait till I see at the talk. <laughs> so now, since you reporter, need forget a pass. We will support our that pass day because we really want for no on a more serious note. Because when government pull out this thing, we don't agree. We want for say say whole water, not to play play. We really want for say. So this what you not do so, and the fact that today and waiting me board, I don't say very instructive for we. So we go back. We go do back. We homework. We go do back, and then we come back. Because at the end of the day, it's to make things easy and better for the people of Sierra Leone. Mr. Bayi, based on what you see, Nadi. Um, Video will play, all reporter go out and talk to people. Then we talk about the reality on ground. How UNASEF as an association will continue to engage with the ministry, although at the first conversation they get, you say no include UNA. But this now, now all hands on deck because the people out there they are suffering. Indeed. Um, just to my brother, Mr. Conjo, and last statement. That's not good for this country. If the members of the fourth estate go na any business avenue or any side, they forbidden the access to information. The mere fact the wholesalers they refuse to talk to the journalists, it indicates that then get something up then sleeps and no one let it out. And so Mr. Kong is supposed to get pass. No, you don't need no pass. As a businessman, if I journey in my business, you can't ask me for a price. A way we don't state on, on paper, that paper they out to the public to me. Now for just read read, say yes, now eight forty at the cell. But the mere fact they refuse for talk to the journalists it should say there is a secrecy. Okay, La left that and come. And still, me appeal a good one. When I listen clearly, the chain of command in business in this country na in broken. That importer of rice, I swear to this Ramadan, it is sell rest by back na in shop. You go to CTC now, you want one bag, two bag, like for Boston Street, they will sell you. This day, the whole problem don't start. We will able to arrange with businesses in this country. The Ministry of Trade or government may they try for put things in order. And that it gets a ripping effect. Because it's very simple, if you don't talk to the importance of rice, when I don't agree, saying that this price will not for sent to the public or no to the to the agent. Simple. When the agent gets receiver, instead they sell to the the the, the wholesalers, you get the price very clear. So you the try for say the, the, the ministry say, gets rule for play for get the big rule price for play to stabilize the price control. In technically, because if they don't able to organize this chain of command between importer, why an importer of rice for be a retailer sell rice by bag, one bag, two bag, Ibrahim Mosi, the PC and Sons, the CTC? Who said the average one way they now down think here in shop? So what did Mr. Barry, so you, a whole you lot of a problem. For, say certain people and get monopoly over the market. They have monopoly. The word they're not right at the monopoly, but the actions na monopoly. And the ministry are aware? They are aware. I don't talk this several times. We don't get this hot conversation. But let me, Before let me, incest. Le, 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 How do you wonder why CTC for sale? Rest by bag. One bag, two bag, three bag. And then you will bring them. You will bring how they call a ship, not to one ship, not to two, not to three ships. You sell the cow, you sell the rope, you sell the cow horn, everything. This is not good for this country. But, but we don't know what in the Ministry of Trade they do. By extension, government. I have said it on many occasions. And I'll continue to say it. 
If you understand, if you understand. No, now if to the reality on the ground, all thing we just see, me me say 900. The lady they tell you say, pa boy, it's 920. You watch the difference between the 840 to 920. As you go to Jasmine, they tell you about 1,200 per bag. So, in sociology, they tell you say, cognitive, cognitive dissonance. What do you do talk and the action? You know, match. Then would they see so? What do they on paper and what do they on the crown? Not two different things. And the essence of getting this communication now for mitigate the suffering on the average Sierra Leonean. And in mitigating this suffering on the average Sierra Leonean, once we don't get things to paper, we now for don't know say the last person that ensured us almost if for sale a rise. Because we will with the come up, race, we know say where you sell and tea per bag. Now five Leos they get or five thousand Leos. Now people will make twenty thousand Leos, thirty thousand Leos per bag. Now all that emanate from the importers. And the Ministry of Trade say they get they trade know, monitors. They get trade monitors. Every day they challenge the trade monitors. Every day. Because me na a Sierra Leonean. Where this thing affects me. Some of them big importers then that are this country of rice, they are not Sierra Leoneans. But we the Sierra Leonean now we to know how we they help with people there. Now we for know that we will make laws. What is wrong for make laws? See if you're an importer, stick to your importation. Sell in wholesales. You will they come buy from this, you say sell in retail. How you will be an importer? Of ships of rice, you will go sell one or two bags of rice, the same price as the ordinary man. All right, now bring in Mr. Conjo because you don't make a whole lot of allegations on the Ministry of Trade. Say they get certain people only they protect, and they are aware. Say some people they get monopoly over the market, and owner as the Sierra Leone, and then then they fail for protection. Mr. Conjo, these are the allegations. So Mr. Barry made. So they are baseless. They are unconfounded. They're not worth any merit. <laughs> Because if you understand how trade works, if you know it in a monopoly, if you understand the laws then we govern with how they do business now, yeah? nobody. Everybody today we want import guys. Who that stop you not for import guys? You are in from the importers association. Has everybody come forward that has been stopped for selling import guys? Who will see now two man no more for import guys, now three man no more for and in a monopoly? Nobody. Nobody. Another issue again with no importers are still the operators retailer. Then. Mr. Barry, get shop. Please. Jeff, therefore, Mr. if I get a no, shop. Oh, oh, hold on. Therefore, if I get a shop. Uh, yeah. If Larry, I get a shop, Larry, that means Larry, say, that Larry, means say, Larry, I will day, I will retail. Let me educate. We have a short educate. Mr. Conjo, Mr. Mr. Conjo, let me just get to this conversation. There's nothing where they call monopoly. They get the patent right where the ministry they give. Certain importers in this country, they get certain goods that the one they bring up. The Ministry of Trade aware of that, where they call under the patent right. Now, what thing that they do? Because they want to with suffer in this country, they go like to the, the, the factory abroad. If go we, tell them, we make an arrangement. If say, we can, if we and can, and we can, no, we get this conversation for today. We the conversation to of today in, is one that, that will affect us rights. tomorrow. Now, it will affect we in the past. We are not to talk on. Let's talk on the rights. The rights in rotation. The prices. We don't. We don't know. Let Mr. Conjo make him point when he come back. On intellectual and property rights issues, we will come. And educate the public with people that we know waiting in the talk about on issues of competition okay whether there is market dominance whether there is collusion whether there is other compet anti-competitive practices who we'll come and discuss about it today, take note of that please. today today we are discussing the press release on the wholesale price that the ministry of trade put out in consultation with the private sector 
specifically the importers of rice. All right? We say now 840, we agree on. We don't get unclear say. Now, after several conversations there, through public private dialogue, we're able to do that. We also don't find out, say, in some instances, it's not reflective to the ordinary consumer because the final price day, and that has come to our attention and to the know. So we go understand, waiting at the cost to drivers or the implications or the reasons for the one and day, we will come back and we will discuss them. Finally, government is not the control price. Again, everybody get a structure of business. I'm not here to pick on any company or anybody. You get people then with a loaded truck with less because they possibly they find them difficult for go buy in a shop. If they bring a kind pack na go market itself. The consumer, the, the customer, he wants dandy. If I want other food, I write in a restaurant at the go. If I don't want to go to a restaurant at the call, not to so, I call a order. So the person will get to the restaurant. Enough for organize a dispatch system for good or a delivery system. Whose law stop you? Whose trade practice stop you? So there are no confused issues. So meaning the, you, you as an as an uh, importer, you get rights as well for sale. The it depends on how because you structure. Maybe, no, maybe no, the no, type no. Hold, hold on. What I'm explaining to you, what I'm explaining to you, you depend on how you structure your business. Okay? Today, my brother, you can import rice. Nothing will stop you. As long as you get your money, as long as you meet the standard requirement of the kind of rice you for bringing at this country, bring them. If Khadija gets stuck, once he gets out, now your own problem than they then they know to your own issues. Okay? If you go, you know, keep the rest in a correct place. The one they win at the competent authority or checks it, the rest don't go get revoked. Then they then they do their own work. But for we, na government, na ministry, nobody not the way we don't stop. Or we don't seize or stop you for give you permits or license for import rest. So monopoly not there. Right. Everybody can part participate. The market forces determine price. Governments know they put price. And every business get a structure on how they want to do their own business. Okay. All right, quickly, we'll take a few messages from our viewers them this morning. They don't send in plenty of messages them, both now YouTube and also now Facebook. But quickly, before we come back to the studio guests them for wrap up the conversation, mm -hmm. we'll take a few of our messages them. The first one they read now from we YouTube page, they come out from Reginald John Stone. It says Sierra Leone will be 63 years this month. We are still haggling about rise whilst our neighbors have moved on from self-sufficiency to infrastructure and major development, but not us. Uh, I'll take this one from Facebook page uh, from Asan Kama. He said the ministry just sitting, um, sitting in the office. They never visit the marketplace to see why uh, the prices of the um, for rice is going up like that. They need to work on this. This one they come up from Asan F. Kama. Daniel Kama on our YouTube page say, Mr. Barry, you are a true man of God. Your explanation is clear to the that is clear to the government man. All right, from the Facebook page, I'll take this from Bakak Banks. He said the government is good at lying to the people. The 840 is a wholesale price, not the retail price. That the price for the shop owners but it's significant high for the end of the users because the wholesalers had to factor in transportation, labor, and shop rental costs on the final price. Reginald George Stone, they say, how can you negotiate behind closed doors when it's controlled by the cartel? In 2018, this president promised to reduce the price of rice from 200,000 today, it's over a million. I'll take this one again from a Facebook page from Fode Musafa Touré. He said, my concern is that by the time the 50 kg arrive in the provinces, transport, transporters and so must have reduced the quality in the bag. I asked my sister why the bag finished in 12 days and she replied that it was stolen on the way. What can be done in shorter situation? 
Hassan A. Turena YouTube, they say this is one of the most controversial arrangements that I've ever had of what the essence of bargaining for a month of Ramadan period. What was the consideration for length or Xmas and after those period? I'll take the last one from my Facebook page. We come from Isa Koma. It says uh, $90 in my city in Canada for 40 kg parboil rice. Alex Salia Bao na YouTube, it will be the last message for today. Go say the cost of rice is unaffordable for people in Sierra Leone. Well, from their messages, then they quickly will they come back na studio as we go wrap up the conversation with the studio guest them and they can to you, Mr. Barry, then later, Mr. Conjo will close the conversation for today. Um, we don't get a lengthy conversation, we don't explain what we are concerned in and how unfavorable the market day for Una as importer them, especially for Sierra Leone and them. Consum <laughs> All right. Well, Alia, he say it fits in both. He saying a consumer and also an importer. Importer is. Exactly. How you describe mm. the business environment as I do? Is this the rapid uh, yes. question? Yes, please. Okay. Thank you so much, my brother, Mr. Konjo, and I want to say thanks, special thanks to Liberty Television. I think this conversation, if we continue in different areas of the Ministry of Trade, because any country we could develop, not the private sector. The private sector, not going to be able to develop any country. The private sector for be the highest employers in any uh, society. But it is rather unfortunate, Sierra Leone the government now they employ more than the private sectors and we need for attract more investors for Canada this country and how one way for attract them you go for watch into your tax laws go for watch about security and all the other rest yes at the talk as importer as well as a consumer in this country and uh, next time when the Ministry of Trade they get such a conversation, let them invite the parent body importers association together with whatever sector now they want in, in, invite if the, the 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 rice importers. Because when we sit down with them, we go give them advice how to go about things. Because people very believe when they see a press release, then the no one know whether it is for the, the, the wholesales or whether it is for retail. Once they don't see that, it's 40. Now in they go with. When they go to a shop, you begin to explain, yeah, no, this, not, this price is not for us. Now for the one, the way they import, they say, no, government don't say it's 40. So next time, if uh, they sit down with we, we go give government say no. If we not get a conversation with the importers, let it be there. And uh, the the press release we now will send out now the price. Let it be for the retailers, so you could not organize and find. So any consumer we go now now sure, you will tell you say eight forty, and so government don't say. So it could not make the team verify. Get a conversation with the importers of rice. We will get a standpoint, and uh, from there, and tell the importers of rice say, now this will be the the retail price within certain geographical area again. Within certain geographical area, we will have don't take cognizance about the, the the transportation from the warehouse to your outlet where they said this time make they get the minister of trade they're not for sit down enjoy the comfortable ac that the offices get the all no even if rice go now but mr congress to himself to go and monitor uh, well, it's good, but me not say it too. Me not say I'm out of court. You see how it dress? Me not say I'm out of court too. <laughs> so this uh, appeal to the ministry because it's very serious. All right. Mortal man, Bele, let me make you as a mortal man. We are this time uh, appeal, and uh, we all help again government by extension 
and lay government instead fast track this farming process. Now, it's easy to come so. This is April. By May now, we don't start for see the, the bush burning and the rest of it. So if we have government, we don't help ourselves. We go forget about this conversation of importation of rice. Because okay. government is spending a lot. All right. That's, that's true. Government is spent a lot on the importation of rice. All right. And if they lobby the help importers, definitely the prices for them go sky high. But they help, and we tell them thank you for that, but they need for do more. All right. Many thanks, Mr. Bayo, for joining me this morning for can get this conversation, especially on the increase of rice. Quickly, Mr. Conjo, with the wrap up the conversation, now it clearly shows say there are still gaps where one and the ministry need for coming and feel, especially for monitor the price system na the market so that that local or ordinary Sierra go get a feel of some of the negotiation there so one and they make just for cushion the cost of living. Okay, I want to thank um, all the, the viewers for their comments, their questions and suggestions. We, we take them on and we go continue for work. But let me, at this juncture, assure the general public that as a country, in terms of food security, we are well on the way. We have enough rice in stock for the next um, six, seven months where we get. Um, we go continue to monitor the price globally. We will continue to support the private sector especially with major importers as government we then provide them ready um, um, foreign exchange for them we're looking at several trade facilities several things we go help them they all this what you do now for ameliorate or for reduce the burden of everybody when mr conjo going to shop even though i'm chief director and professional head of the ministry i don't have a discount i buy like everybody buys so we own a consumer but the reality of the situation is that the world is going through in challenges. There is food insecurity. One of we call us that we say in Canada, a $90 for bag rest. $90. And if we check in the region, I'm telling you, I know one for sale, let them say, let say. If we check, Sierra Leone rest, cheaper than we brother and sister. Then. Because we continue for work, we continue for help. Um, we go get, we, we go intensify on the monitoring, we go intensify on the engagement with the partners in the private sector, we bless them, so let me see what we go do. Um, on a final note, is that we in the ministry, we the facilitate and we the regulate. You know, they put plenty, plenty of love on people then, but they do business. They are supporting them. If they go on that, then for this, they not for calm. All law puts the law put them here, it's fine. The laws are there. It's finally, finally, we all as Iranians get a responsibility and role for play. So until then, if we know the day, like we will go there and go for talk to them, so talk to them, they will hear it. Now, King Seth can come as citizen, can have online team, Liberty TV and tell us, and so we see what we going to Ministry of Trade. And then, if we will not take action, then we could be accounted for. But so we we'll call on the public for support to we, to sign my reset team, and they go fine. As long as we get for the marketplace, let me all join in for two. All right, many thanks, Mr. Emmanuel Billy Conjo. Will you join me at the program this morning? And also, um, Mr. Sheriff Barry, in self video with we, they represent the Sierra Leone Importers Association. Many thanks to yourself for the watch. We you don't be part of the conversation, you don't send me text message. We apologize, we're unable to read all of our messages them because of time. Continue for watch Liberty Online TV as every day we bring canto on very educative topics, them way now for get conversation the way they benefit the ordinary Sierra Leonean, especially issues them we get for the cost of living, the economy, and other one them. Continue for follow Liberty Online TV. Continue for share all the programs them so that you self go support we for continue for bring counts on a credible and factual information. Mina Kadija Bangladesh say have a good day. And Mina Al Hassan Kuma say bless have a comfortable day.